Hi guys, it's Andrea Griffin Rogers here. I am a biblical teacher, writer, author, and a podcast host of the Can I Get a Favor podcast, which you can find on Anchor FM or even on your Spotify as well as YouTube. And so today's message that God placed in my heart to share with you all is to um, press through the pressure. You know, when many storms and challenges come in your life, a lot of us get into this fight or flight mentality. And I'm sure this is not the first time you've heard of something like this, but you have to press through the storm in order to see what's on the other side. And when the storms come, they're heavy. They seem chaotic. The winds are strong and you feel like you're going to get knocked out of your boat. But the lifeboat that God gave you, which is your life, he has equipped you to get through the storm. He knows what you can handle and what you can't handle. And so he will never put more on you than you can bear. I'm sure you've heard that time and time again. The pressure may feel too intense. It may feel crushing. It may feel overwhelming. But there is beauty on the other side of the pressing. And so you have to allow the pressure of the storm to happen in your life because there's something beautiful on the other side of that. And I think about my own story, and honestly, I wouldn't even be here today to share this message with you of faith um, had it not been for my own storms. You know, God took me through, I call it in my in my podcast, a Job wilderness season, and it was uh, basically the last eight years of just tumultuous winds and rains and hurricanes and tsunamis and tornadoes and, dare I say, volcanic eruption. I mean, everything that could go wrong in my life did go wrong. I went through so many challenges. I had some loved ones that I held dearly to my heart that died back to back to back. Um, I even went through bankruptcy. I mean, I went through so many trials and tribulations and just like the person in the bible who um my season is uh, inspired by job i even went through health issues i mean the enemy tried to take my life three times in three years it was just like one thing after another after another my body was just being attacked left and right and i never went through any sicknesses like this ever in my life um And so when I went through those storms, it felt so overwhelming, like I would never overcome. Like I would never get out of that pit. I would never crawl from up under the seas and the waves and the winds. But God, I mean, God is so amazing. He knows how to take Joseph from the pit to the palace. And if you don't know who Joseph is, go read Genesis um, and you'll see Joseph's story. It culminates, I believe it's Genesis 50, where you see like how his story comes full circle. I mean, this man literally went from being thrown in the pit by his brothers, becoming enslaved by his brothers. They sold him into slavery. Then he got lied on and betrayed and persecuted, thrown into prison, all for standing up with morals and values and doing nothing wrong but being his best self that God created him to be. And then while he was in prison, helping other people get free, they forgot about him. Child, they went on about their own life and totally forgot about Joseph. And so Joseph stayed in prison for three more years before the the person remembered, oh, wait, hey, yo, bro, I forgot Joseph helped me out. Yeah, you did. And so when he remembered, he went to the Pharaoh of Egypt and said, oh, darn it. I remember Joseph helped me. And so we got to go get Joseph because I know Joseph can help your situation. And Joseph not only helped the Pharaoh so much so with the dream that he was having and the problem he was about to face of of a seven year famine, that the Pharaoh thanked him and awarded him as second in command to the entire kingdom. He was second after Pharaoh. And so it was, it's amazing when you see stories like that in the Bible, when you see stories 
of, of Job, where Job went through everything in hell. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. He lost everything. Even his own wife told him to curse God and die. And yet still, Job held on that though you slay me, Lord, yet will I trust you. And so we as believers in Yeshua, believers in Jesus, we have to do the same thing. We have to know that whatever is going through, whatever you're going through right now, whatever storm or season you're in, whatever tragedies may be happening in your life, whatever, whoever is dying around you, that God is not crushing you without a purpose. It's to produce good fruits from you. It's called pruning. There are some things that are being cut back from your life in order to propel you forward. And so instead of grumbling and complaining in this season, wondering what is going on, God, and why, learn the lessons that you need to learn on this level because they're going to help you get to the next level. You may be focused so much on getting there because the pressure of the storm is just too much for you to bear. And so you just keep focusing on when I get there, I'll be happy. When I get there, I'll find love. When I get there, I'll have peace. When I get there, I'll rest. And God is saying here is holy. Focus on here. Focus on today because I have something here for you today. Learn what you need to learn on this level. Instead of asking me to take it away, ask me to develop in you the strength you need to face the challenges up ahead because I would have never sent the storm your way if you could not deal with it. God is not a cruel God and he's not a man that he shall lie. His word does not return back to him void. And so if you are still here in 2022, it's because God has a purpose and a plan for your life. You may not can see it right now. And when I was going through my own storm, I didn't see no way out of it. I didn't see that there was a purpose in it. But God, like God brought me through so that I can tell you there's a purpose in the storm. It may not look like it right now, but you have to trust in the process and the one that creates the waves and the winds. God knows what he's doing. And so instead of complaining, instead of focusing on how you can escape it or run away from it, ask God to develop in you the tools that you need to learn on this level in order to overcome it so that you never have to repeat this level again. That's the point in the storm. It's to teach you something and to produce good fruit in you that will last. You do not cook a stew in the microwave. It's not going to be as good as a long cooked stew that took all day to cook. Greens that was microwaved or even greens that's raw are not as good as them greens that's been sitting on the pot for several hours marinating in that season, baby. God is doing the same thing in your life. He's marinating something in you. You have to learn to step out of your comfort zone and step out of what you think it should be or how it should be going. And let the shaking up happen because it's sent by God. And ask God, what must I learn in this season that I can take to the next level? And so that is my message for you today. I pray that you allow this message to stir your faith in your heart to tap deeper into God's word. Study his word. It says meditate on the word day and night to, sh to uh, show yourself approved. When you study God's word, it is a double-edged sword. It is your shield. It helps you fight through the battles. I could not get through the storms of my life had it not been for God's word. Had I not studied and meditated on that word day and night. Because whenever the enemy came to attack me with a lie, whenever somebody negative came to kick me while I was down, I had God's word that reminded me of who and whose I was. I'm a child of most high God. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I am made in the image of God. God wants to do exceedingly abundantly above all that, he, that I could ever ask or think in my life. God knew me before he formed me in my mother's womb. He had plans for me, plans to prosper and not to harm me. Plans to give me a hope in the future. God has the same thing for you. But you see how I spit that real quick, baby? That's because I know God's word. I studied it. And so I'm encouraging you today to do the same thing. Tap into God's word and what he has to say about you. So that when the negativity come, when the storms come, you know how to counteract those, those winds. Because you know who's and who you are. 
you know what God has to say about you and the promises that he has over your life to help you get through. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord our God be gracious to you, show you his favor and give you his peace. I pray you receive something from this message. God bless.